Good morning, I'm meteorologist Brandon Libby filling in for Jarrett from KWWL, that's KTIV sister station. We've been dealing with a dense fog advisory in the west so far this morning. It lines up really well with where we have been seeing that dense fog. Less than a quarter mile of visibility at times west of the river. That's where winds are a little lighter and we've had the clear skies. It's a perfect combination to see that fog developing. So uh, give yourself a few extra minutes to travel this morning. That should begin to burn off once the sun comes up. Again, the winds have been on the light side in the west, and that's helping that fog develop. In Iowa, we've been seeing a wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour coming in from about the east, and so that is limiting the fog development in Iowa. Uh, so that's what the case is there. But here's a look at Niobrara State Park. You definitely see that fog out here and really low visibilities. Also just a really cool shot. Uh, so this is what we'll be dealing with, but again, should burn off pretty quickly once that sun comes up, which will be very, very shortly here. Temperatures are running in about the mid-20s to the low 30s. We're at 30 in Sioux City, 25 in Wayne, it's 28 in Storm Lake, and 28 in Denison, 27 in O'Neill. Big low pressure off to our south. We're going to avoid all of that rain and most of the clouds as well. It is going to bring in some slightly cooler temperatures for today, but you see the clear skies out there, except for maybe a little bit of slight cloud cover in our northeastern counties. That will not have any impact on our weather for today. And Future Track is going to show that fog burning off here by about 10 a.m. And for the afternoon, it's going to be another day with plenty of sunshine, and that's going to help our temperatures to warm back up well above normal. The clear skies will continue into tonight, except for maybe a few passing clouds in the east throughout the overnight hours. For today, here's a look at your conditions. We'll range from about the 40s in the east to the upper 50s in Nebraska. South wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for tonight, we'll look at temperatures in the 20s and 30s once again. Maybe some patchy fog is possible. We'll see mostly clear skies and a southeast wind. And then heading into tomorrow, temperatures will really start to warm up. 50s and 60s are expected as we get a stronger southeast breeze. That's going to pump in some warmer temperatures from the southeast. Here's your extended forecast, and we'll continue that warm up into Sunday. 66 for the high. Look at those lows. Upper 30s, low 40s. It is going to be beautiful. The strong winds continue into the weekend, so that's going to pull us near 70 degrees at times, especially on Tuesday although we do see a little more cloud cover. Your 10-day forecast is going to show a bit of some rain chances by Wednesday and Thursday. That's going to start to cool things down by Friday. Next weekend, we'll drop into the 40s for highs, but still not looking at many chances for snow or ice in the forecast. Just about perfect, I think, uh, is what everybody would think about that. You know, yeah, when you're right. saying we may drop into the 40s, that's not doing too bad. Yeah, I'm yeah. not mad about that. Yeah. All Thanks right. a lot, Brandon.